you know, one of the most talked about aspects of the sync solution is the integrated scope and sequence and order of introduction for all the standards. You know, districts can't afford to take the time, resources, money, personnel right now to pull teachers out of the classroom to sit down and develop these pacing guides and scope and sequences, nor do the teachers have the expertise needed in that area. So one of the things that the content experts at Sync Solution did is we went across the country, really looked at the different scope and sequences, and we worked together to create what we believe is truly a reliable and valid scope and sequence that really takes into consideration the science required to create that valuable scope and sequence. So we not only took a look at the content of the standards, but we also took a look at the cognitive depth of knowledge of those standards, and we focused on not just how we pace out the standards over the course of the year, but how much time we spend with the standards in a recursive nature. So, of course, we took into consideration the college and career ready anchor standards in uh, language arts, the content focus um, of mathematics and the procedural fluency focus, and certainly the math practices are integrated into that scope and sequence too. So, you know, um, one of our one of our partners, Vicki Broberg, and the assistant soup in uh, Chino Valley said it best when she said, um, the features ensure that all the standards will spiral throughout the year in language arts. And they get that blend of literature and informational text in language arts and the incorporation of math practices in mathematics. And having this scope and sequence predetermined for the teachers has saved teachers hours and hours of time that they would have spent uh, creating these pacing guides. So at this critical time uh, that we really should be focusing on instructional change in the classroom and uh, having a scope and sequence developed is one of the best parts of SYNC Solution.